And this case is all about money, and it has some malaria neighbors at odds with the school board's plans for new schools. Neighbors tell us it sends a bad message to kids, and it hurts their property values. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley breaks down the clash all new at 11 tonight. Frank? Yeah, there were groans and applause. Promises and millions of dollars has put people at odds as a school district looks to get back on budget. It seemed like the whole South Side packed in. Those designers over there riled everyone up. Make them keep their promise. As a voter, I was promised something and my tax dollars are now not going for what I had assumed. Neighbors say Elyria's South Side isn't what it used to be. Folks fear the future could look even worse without plans for a new school. I'm concerned about folks wanting to even come to my community if there is no school. That's what this is all about. People say they were promised a school, but things changed. Plans for five new schools now reduced to three. We're going to have to cut another $15 million and be about $7 million over budget. Is that? Money made a mess on down to the groundwork. But we, we certainly believe that is impacting steel prices because we just bid, for example, I bid a steel package over at Talmadge, and it, it dumbfounded us when we got the prices. Dumbfounded residents when they thought about the cost. These kids don't have, they don't have much. They don't have much, and if they find out they're not going to have a school, at the least a school, you know, I, I think that's going to be real devastating. Meantime, everything is still up for discussion. But right now, not many like what they're talking about. By the way, nothing is final. One school board member said, quote, I always thought when we were going through negotiations, that would be the worst thing we'd have to deal with. Now I'm finding something different, and I think this is going to be the hardest decision we make. Rob